AI's role in customer experience, you start to understand that the design behind artificial intelligence was to program childlike behavior. That's really how this started. And now we're moving into what we, let's call superhuman-like behaviors. You know, it's funny when they talk about chat, GPT had an IQ of 150, Einstein 160, GPT-4 is 1600 IQ, who knows what GPT-5 is gonna be. You start to understand the massive computing power of these, of these platforms and, and AI. When you get to the AGI level, you would expect that it can now condense, synthesize information that would take a human team to do five years, and it can do it in a matter of hours, a matter of days. So I think when we start to look at the customer experiences, the first thing is understanding points of friction. What is it that a major brand can't get to as solves? There are friction points that have always existed that AI can now run down the rabbit hole and start to close gaps. The other thing is just the, the idea of synthesizing. I mean, you can imagine as a footprint as, as two brands, Toyota and Lexus, has, has you know decades of customer history. What are the things that have never been addressed? What are the things that will now be on the horizon as cars become more technologically advanced? And how can AI insert itself not only to follow the consumer along the journey of ownership of a vehicle, but troubleshoot points of fiction when, when they might think about defecting or when they start to think about stepping up out of Toyota into the Lexus brand. I think from a discovery standpoint, if, if the brand spends enough time just observing human behavior around vehicle ownership and what it means and what it entails, then you can start to program AI or in the, in the AGI context to do what you could never human resource around. It simply wasn't plausible. And I think that's the biggest large conceptual payoff is how can we connect the dots between departments that didn't speak or divisions that didn't speak or countries of, or, of operation that weren't hyper-connected? How can we take the millions of customers that the brand, both brands have served over the decades, start to understand how did we lose them and how did we keep them, and start to say how do we start to program a machine to insert itself to cultivate and a relationship as it moves through the path and through like the next journey of their chapter. And look, I know there was a long way to rant, but I think when you start to look at the beginning of it solve, you start to say, how can we program machines to solve human problems that humans don't have time and bandwidth to do? And I think that would be the beginning of the promise when you start looking at customer service.